My name is Craig Curry, and I have been in the United Methodist Ministry for 43 years. When I graduated from high school, R.L. Kirk, Bill Couch were gracious enough to take me in and teach me how to do ministry in plain view, and I've gotten to serve for uh, so many neat con congregations in different roles, youth ministry to pastoring. And I've been able to serve pastoral uh, charges here in the conference uh, that have stretched me and enabled me to grow from place to place, and one in New Mexico. And that is a, a neat uh, journey for us to be able to make our way back to Lubbock, back home. This is where I was born, and this is my parents are from this area, so it's like coming home. And we've been home now 10 years. And this ten, this tenth year gives us a, a new opportunity that we get to pursue. To choose a ministry time that really uh, stands out is really tough, but there's one that uh, I can still feel the hands were holding in a circle outside of a little Cajun lady's trailer trailer house. In that trailer house, we had spent the week rebuilding a roof for. Uh, even one of our members, uh, our crew, uh, fell through her roof that had been torn up by Hurricane Andrew. And so we rebuilt the roof, never really got to speak for, with her because she was very shy, very recluse. At the end, she came out and joined our circle as we prayed, and we prayed all the way around the circle. And when we finished, she jumped in and said something, and we all were all listening. And she said she never knew that people loved like this in the world and never knew that someone loved her like this. And so to me, that was a moment that uh, stole my heart, taught me what agape love actually is, what it is to sacrifice, to go and be uh, with, even when there wasn't a lot of reciprocal uh, love coming back. But that moment was that... Uh, moment that said this is the kind of moment you get to build for your members in your church no matter whether something happened to children youth adults is creating those chances for them to experience agape love at its best change in the world those coming into ministry just need to know that it's not what you know it's who you know it's not only him but also learning how to be in community with people and I think that when we discover that, we kind of get over ourselves and get to the place of being able to be humble, be real, be shaped, transformed, and also learn to work together. I think there's a synergy that happens when we're finally available instead of trying to prove ourselves. So coming into the ministry, man, let God take you on that journey. And that journey has uh, meant all the world to, to Kathy and I learning to work together, but also learning to work with our church and follow God's grace. One of the things that we're looking forward to in, in retirement is just the opportunity we get to have to, to move back to an area where we have served before, and we're going to be working outside of the church for the first time in my entire adult life, and uh, we have an opportunity to work with friends and do things that will, again, like every church, stretch us, uh, stretch me, and enable us to actually have weekends. That's a big word to us now, and uh, have more time, uh, we think, to connect with our kids and grandkids and family, but also time to do things like photography, like hiking, fishing, those kinds of things that are replenishing because our word right now is to get healthy and to enjoy the stretch. I am so blessed to be able to have grown up in Northwest Texas and to grow up in the churches that are here, to be baptized by Charles Ludrick in Floyd Ada, to be able to know the stories of First Plainview and be a part of the stories of the churches that I've been able to serve and watch friends come into the ministry out of those churches and to watch colleagues work their way into different ways of doing ministry, to watch people become a bishop, uh, just a joy to be a part of something way bigger than us and to know that it's still in God's hands. 
and we're going to trust and let our faith grow into what we don't know and what we actually get to see will be a story that we get to tell later on.